Happy Monday, folks, and oh, it's a great weekend of football, enjoying the games and seeing the outcomes of the rest of the NFC North, and obviously we won on Thursday Night Football. It's really good. So in this video, we're going to do some Lions news. Power rankings came out on Yahoo. We're going to go where they think the Detroit Lions are at. NFC North Roundup, Dan Campbell talking about the asterisk of Mike Tirico and former Detroit Lions players who were on last year. Not looking so good this year. If you're a Lions fan, great weekend, folks. It's absolutely great. That's what it's all about is, is the luck turning around for us. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button before we really get going here. It does help the channel out, and that's what it's all about. But, man, oh, man, what a great weekend. It's nothing like watching, uh, you know, teams there that you think, like, you, you watch and say, is the Minnesota Vikings going to be really good? Is the, you know, how is this going to play out? And we didn't know, but now we know. And a lot of good things played out here. So we're, let's do the, the NFC North roundup first. If you don't know, Minnesota Vikings lost to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They lost in Tampa Bay, and it was a home game for the Minnesota Vikings. I think a lot of us had the Vikings winning that game because Tampa Bay don't really look like a good team, and they lost. The Vikings didn't look good. They still have issues on defense. Their offense is out of sync, and they got to go to Philadelphia in a week. Very well could be 0-2. You look what the Chicago Bears, they played the Packers. Bears look terrible. People thought they are going to take a step up. They took a step back. That offensive line is garbage. Justin Fields can't throw the football to save anything. <sighs> I'm not too worried about them. The Packers, defense looked good. Their offense was bland. I'm not, I wanted to look at... Jordan love to see how he he did. I think he did all right, but I'm not not concerned really about the Packers. I'm not. So really good weekend for the Lions. We are one and zero. Packers are one and zero, and the other two teams are zero and one. And to me, like the Chicago Bears, don't really have a chance. They look terrible. They could be a, a top five draft pick this year. Minnesota Vikings look like they definitely took a step back. This is going to be a good year for the Lions. The Lions have a big-time opportunity to win the NFC North this year. If they don't do it I don't this year, then I, I don't know when they can do it because this is the best opportunity to win the NFC North. Other teams are struggling, and we're pretty good. We're really good. We have an opportunity to beat Seattle and be 2-0. So we got to get this thing going here. Power rankings from Yahoo Sports. Generally, they wait till Tuesday to come out power rankings, but it came out here. Previously, they had the Lions at 11, and they, the Lions jumped up to 9 with the win over Kansas City. And look, I'm, I'm fine with that right now. I think 9's an okay spot. If you look at the other teams in the NFC, Dallas Cowboys with a significant win over the New York Giants. They looked really, really good. Uh, Dallas Cowboys look like they can be a team to compete with, and that's going to be a hard game or or a hard team for the Lions to to overcome. But it's the same teams we all figured would be good, right? Dallas Cowboys in the NFC, the Philadelphia Eagles, and San Francisco 49ers. And the Detroit Lions, I think that's how the NFC is going to play out. I think it's those four teams and then everybody else. I think there's a tier of good teams, the top four, and then there's a drop-off, a pretty significant drop-off. Philadelphia, San Francisco, Dallas, and Detroit looked like the best teams in the NFC. Then everybody else just was like, bland. It wasn't really that big of a deal. So I'm shocked that Green Bay's this high. I don't think they're that good. But... I think there's that tier, and there's everybody else. And I'm not worried about the AFC teams. Why? Because we are in the NFC. You know, for us to make a playoff run, a Super Bowl run, you don't go through the AFC, you go through the NFC. So who's good on the NFC side? And we're one of the the top four. 
Lions should win the NFC North. You know, it's going to be interesting to see between Dallas and Philadelphia who wins that division. The other one most certainly will be in the playoffs. San Francisco, in my opinion, is going to win that division. And who knows who will be the wild card, but predominantly, Lions should be hosting a playoff game. From what we've seen there. Now, I want to talk about this asterisk thing. If you don't know, Mike Tirico says that they should have an asterisk with the win over the Kansas City Chiefs, which is absolutely, utterly ridiculous. Just utterly ridiculous. And I love that Dan Campbell is not playing this asterisk game, is not going in there and doing, oh, we win you the asterisk that Mike Tirico said. He said this is an asterisk because no Chris Jones and Travis Kelsey, but after what you saw at the end of last year and what you saw tonight, the blue and silver is for real. Dan Campbell responded, well, is there an asterisk by the 1-0? If you listened entirely to what I said, it's much more in context with just lifting half the quote, he said. I understand the disappointment with the word asterisk, and that's okay. Mike Tirico shot himself in the foot. It's funny how these people will only do this with the Lions. If the Lions lose a game, say, we don't have, when, you know, Matthew Stafford was out, you don't see that. Right When we had Matthew Stafford, if he's knocked out, you don't see teams saying, oh, it's an asterisk because Stafford's out. Megatron not playing. No, it's an asterisk because Megatron's not playing. No, no, nah, no. Nah. That's not how it works. We didn't have J-Mo. We didn't have Emmanuel Mosley, Isaiah Bugs, Romeo Aquara. No, no asterisk. You went into the toughest stadium to play on opening night with the whole world watching 95% of everybody said that the Kansas City Chiefs would win even with those two out, and we win. So get used to it. The Lions are for real. There is no asterisk for that. I seen Minnesota Bears and Packers fan all laugh and say the Lions think they're good. They was just lucky that they win. Yet the Bears get blown out, and Minnesota loses to a bum team in the Bucks. You can't have it both ways. Sorry. Get used to it. The Lions are a good football team. If you look at talent, you look how we draft, you look at the coaching, they're a good team. Get used to it. The National Football League is a very close, in the, in the, and generally speaking, close in the games. It's generally decided by one possession, basically. We won. Suck it up. I know the NFL's not used to this. I know people are not used to it. But the Lions are a good football team. And the disrespect is unreal. For the Lions. It's always been if the Lions win a game, it's the other team. Something is with the other team. Can't deny it now. Former Lions. Suck in on other teams. DeAndre Swift. Everyone said the Lions trading him was a great pickup for the Philadelphia Eagles. It was a bad move by the Lions. One carry, three yards. One catch, zero yards. Oh, what a big loss. What a big loss for the Lions. Jamal Williams. Leaves in free agency. We get Montgomery and everybody freaked. 18 carries, 45 yards, 2.5 yards a carry. Two catches, seven yards. He's not behind this offensive line anymore, folks. Reality came back in. I love Jamal Williams' personality. But David Montgomery's a better running back. It just is. Brad Holmes did all the right moves in the offseason. He upgraded everything. Including free agency. 
Brad Holmes knows what he's doing. Brad Holmes is the best general manager in Lions history. It's unbelievable how he has done that, getting C.J. Gardner-Johnson and who we should lock up. You know, I was saying before, you may just let him walk in for agency because he's got Brian Branch. Why not just make this defense absolute stud? Lock him up, Tracy Walker, let him go after this year. That's the way I see it. This is a stout football team because you have competent leaders in this franchise. Competent leaders running this football team. In each game that pans out, you see it. It's a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing, and you as Lions fans, enjoy it. Relish in it. Relish in it. You deserve it, especially the older Lions fans. You all deserve it. You have stuck by this team for years and years and years through losing franchises. And now we have an up, we, we are a good football team, and it's going to be good for a while. This is not a one-year wonder. This is going to be good for a long time because we have young players and we know how to draft. Fantastic job. And it just continues to get better. I love it. I love it, folks. It's so good to be a Lions fan right now. It's so good to make videos when the Lions are winning. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. We're going to get Herm make a video. We'll be doing the Lions versus Seattle Seahawks preview. We'll get that up for you because now after week one, there's stuff you can look at for each team. And it's not a guessing game. So now we can get that going on. I can't wait for him to do his prediction video, Lions versus Seahawks. With that said, folks, adios.